patronising or anything like that, so just totally trying to help you in your flying with DC. So, um, one thing I noticed was uh, you weren't using any rudder at all um, when you were joining up, um, and of course the Tomcat actually flies quite a wee way out of trim. Try and get this trimmed up for us while we approach here. And the other thing was uh, your use of throttle input. Um, so all I'm going to do here is try and demonstrate a couple of things that I do um, that will hopefully help you out. Now I'm going to hand off the throttle at the moment. So Texaco, one one in field, one one. Request rejoin. Hopefully you'll be able to see my control inputs all the way through here. So importantly, focus on the road that is down the bottom. The one that's moving more, of course. Trim, which is that small diamond, it's not a sense of all the way up to the right at the moment. And also, going to have that uh, center ball trimmed out, so it's going to be uh, in the balanced position between two back lines. Notice my throttle inputs as I get closer here. I'm going to try and trim this out so I've got almost zero input, and I can stay behind this uh, tanker here. So I'm going to move up into position here. Now I'm bringing my throttle back. But at the same rate, my hand movement's moving about the same rate that I see the aeroplane advancing in my screen. So now it's chasing, it's going away from me, so I'm moving it forward at about the same speed, just trying to be nice and smooth. Okay, now I'm getting it somewhere and bring it back. So now I'm, I know that I'm chasing it forward and back. That's going to create a bit of a zero position for me, which is probably about here. I'll use that as my zero. Now even before I talk to him, I'm going to trim it out so that I can effectively take my hands off. So you see I take my hands off at the moment, hands off the sticks, rolling right, so I'm going to trim a little bit left. Now hands off again, yep, so we've got nose down, so a little bit of nose up trim. Ready, right, I'm pretty close to the ball, I can find you in that area. Closest, no closer. I'm not even going to try and get onto it until he's actually um, brought the basket all the way up for me. Okay, there it is. That's the way it is. Now I can move in. I'm trying to keep my control inputs as smooth as possible. Importantly, I'm not going to try and use too much aileron. I'm going to just try and keep the wings level with him. Hopefully I've got my pitch trim sorted at this point in time. There should be very little limit. Just a bit to the left. Now I'm just going to use my rudders to move across, so I'm obviously not quite aligned. A little left. A little bit of pressure. A little bit of pressure. Contact. There it is. Okay. Suck him die. <laughs> Pushing into the basket a little bit. Again, notice my throttles are hardly moving. I'm not chasing them as much at all. And really it's just very small inputs around that zero position, so I let it forward, all back, nice and gentle. Fuel 9000. Chopping the throttles and advancing them too fast, you'll be getting some pitch oscillations that are going on. Um, and that'll be causing you to put extra inputs in around the centre, which is not going to be helping out. And of course, as the aircraft starts getting a bit heavier, I'm going to have to start trimming out a little bit more as well. I do find DCS trim to be super sensitive, and in fact there's probably about twice as fast as I'd hope. Fuel 10,000. And there you go, just sort of carrying it on. Try to keep the aircraft in balance, just keep those wings level. Now let me just move around the box a little bit here and show you what I'd do to come back. So if I'm, say I'm over here, right, so obviously I'm too far to the left, I'm going to move to the right. Just Fuel 11,000. A little bit of that left pressure on the rudder. Get the wings level and back in the middle. Go out to the other side, now I can keep the wings level as much as possible using a little bit of right, using the left pressure on the on the rudder. Okay, now I want to come back to the left. Fuel 12,000. Keep the wings level and then just balancing the pressure to keep it where I want it. Ideally, I'm in the right spot when I've got my wings level. Ball is in the middle, we are good as gold. And if I trim it out properly, I'll stay here all day. Fuel 13,000. Whoops. 